couple of new features that we introduced last year as well, which is our decelerator pedal and our throttle smoothing. So throttle smoothing, if you've ever been on a skid steer loader, anybody operate a skid steer loader ever? Yes, rubber tire machine. You're bouncing along, if you're trying to use a foot throttle pedal, you're going, uh, 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 just like that. What if we could take and we could clip that out? So when we move the joystick out of the neutral position, forward, reverse, left, right, it clips that all out, makes it nice and smooth, so you have a nice response in the cab, nice smooth ride, you don't get that loping feel in the machine. Again, something we're introduced last year, we're introducing on all our models. And then the decelerator pedal, we further that on. We have the throttle knob at high idle, you can use your foot throttle pedal to decelerate. So if you're using work tools, you've got the RPM up at a high RPM, you're getting all that flow out to your tool, you need to reposition your trencher, you need to talk to someone who walks up next to you. All you have to do is depress that foot throttle, it slows your RPMs down, you can have a conversation, you can reposition, you have a little more control, then you drop your trencher back in the hole, put your tool in the right position, accelerate, use your RPMs to drive that performance to that tool. Okay? So these are all things we introduced last year on our big models, taking them down to our smaller models as well. Ah, but we haven't stopped there. This is 2013. What are we doing now? Well, as you can see, these machines have a, a different appearance. We've changed the way they look on the outside, and we've changed the way they look on the inside. Jeff is sitting in our redesigned cab. 2013 is a totally redesigned cab. It's a new level of sealed and pressurized cab design. This is a completely sealed modular unit. We call it cab one, because it's one complete unit. If you raise the cab, you unbolted it, you want to clean underneath it, you want to look underneath it, it is one complete unit. It's as sealed as it sits right here, as if I took it over and I sat it on the ground in front of you. One complete unit, no foot weld. Most competitive uh, solutions, you'll see a foot weld that stays down with the chassis of the machine and a piece that raises up. Not here, one complete modular unit, cab one we call it, okay? That gives us a much, much better setup for our sealing and pressurization. We've improved their airflow by 20%. We seal up the cab and get pressurization. It's almost twice what we had previously. So we're taking it to a whole nother level. Jeff's also sitting in our new cab that has new seat features. He's sitting in a high back air ride seat. We had an air ride seat previously in our offerings. Now it's a high back seat. That high back seat still comes with seat mounted joystick controls that move with you as the operator as you move up and down in the chair. But it also now has heat, a lumbar adjustment, recline feature, so you can be much more comfortable in the cab. But Kevin, I don't always buy an enclosed cab. What about the guy who wants to open Rob's machine, who sits in the southeast, for example? It gets cold where we are, where I'm from sometimes. What about that guy? He has an open Rob's machine. What can we do for him? How about a vinyl air ride seat? Same configuration, high back, air ride, seat mounted joystick controls with the heat switch so he can be comfortable on those days when it's cool outside. We've got that for him. You can even put it in the cab if you've got an application, maybe an ag application, where you're worried about what you might have on your clothing that you don't want to get on your nice cloth seat. So you can put a vinyl seat in the cab unit as well.